Since 2000, food prices have been going up pretty consistently, and they've been spiking dramatically. So in 2007 and 2008, and then 2010, 2011, there was another uh, rapid spike. And, and, and in real terms, food is now more expensive in, in, around the world than it has been uh, at any point since the early 1970s. Okay, so, so wh what are the causes of that? Well, some of them are the familiar things you've probably heard about, which is that China and other developing countries are getting wealthier, and as they do, their demand for more uh, food-intensive foods, by which I mean things like meat, so food, food that eats other sources of food, right, has increased. Um, but a lot of it's driven by policy choices in countries like the United States uh, and Europe, uh, specifically as relates to uh, biofuels. So an, a remarkable proportion of the corn that is grown in the United States goes directly into ethanol production. Uh, and that, that crowds out the kind of uh, you know, production that, that winds up on people's plates. Uh, and then also the way in which uh, we govern commodities markets here in the United States. So changes uh, that were sort of related to the consolidation in the banking industry also deregulated to a large extent trading uh, in mercantile exchanges that govern commodities. Now I realize that gets a bit arcane, um, but I guess the, the talking point that I would, I would sort of drive home on that is that we went from a position where the mercantile exchanges, where food is traded, uh, were we went from a context in which those were basically markets for people who actually traded in the goods and a little bit of speculation to a situation in which those markets have largely become casinos and a very small proportion of the money that's in those markets now is actually tied to real trade in food. A lot of it now is speculation. And both of those were, both of those um, elements, so biofuels and then the increase in commodity speculation were the result of specific policy choices that we made here in the United States, which means that there's something that we can actually do something about.